All right, guys, welcome back. This is the Benjinator with Let's Really Play Final Fantasy VI. This is part 15. This is your victim, Mad Mike. And uh, we are on the voyage to find the noble savage and give him some meat. That I'm literally throwing beef <laughs> jerky on those people. Yeah, pretty much. This is the highest point of my career. Whee! Alrighty, there we go. Now, this is uh, going to be an interesting part of the game, for sure. All right, so let's 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 take these guys out, and hopefully our friend will appear. We're of course fighting our uh, the enemies that we fought in South Figaro with Pikey and the Great General Share. So it's, there's no guarantee that uh, that uh, Spazzy McGee is always going to show up. It's, it's not something that uh, most battles, though. Most battles. If it's a side attack, it's never going to happen, but. In most other circumstances, it'll be fine. Unfortunately, if Spazzy McGee shows up, you will experience one of the more humorous bits of this game. Nope, nope, not this time. Darn, no humor quite yet. Dog is scabbed. Yep. I <laughs> uh, wonder if the dog saw the dogs on the screen. Those were scary Dobermans. <laughs> <laughs> they were, you know, eight. They, they were eight bit Dobermans or sixteen bit? I forget. Super Nintendo. Oh, the bear's back! <laughs> the bear's in second. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are wondering about that third slot, that is the slot for magic. And uh, right now, these guys can't use it. But, but there he is. There's Spazzy McGee. What are we gonna do with Spazzy McGee? Give him some meat. Give him some meat. No, don't give him. Don't give him your ninja sword. That's expensive. Give him some meat. Sorry. <laughs> Just sit down. <laughs> there we go. Unfortunately, it's unsorted, but I think it's at the bottom of the menu. Do to do. Right, meat. They use it on the thingy, the person. Now he says he's hungry. So that's another hint. Yay, we made him feel better. And now for much hilarity will ensue. Fuck! <laughs> Apparently it's laced with ecstasy. Like a lot of ecstasy. His eyes were vibrating. <laughs> Thou art so odd. <laughs> I'm gone! And he's rocky. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> no more for you! <laughs> Munchkin! Double Munchkin! Uh oh. Are they. I I'm trying to figure out, are they having a standoff or are they just having a weird waltz? They're dance fighting. Yeah, they're, 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 they're breakdance fighting. This is like an 80. This is suddenly become an 80s movie. Look at that. <laughs> 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 yeah, but did, did, did they just do like the number from West Side? They crunked. They crunked. <laughs> it's like the, they did the Vi they did a Viking dance. <laughs> no, it's uh, not crumping. Oh, you strong. Oh, there we go again. Poor oh, God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you go, leader. Oh man, that's just a smack in the face. <laughs> Shut up! I'm gonna cook food in the face. <laughs> uh oh, he's gonna play Gandhi. <laughs> Listen, y'all just quit being morons for like two seconds. <laughs> thou old wild. Wi I feel like that's a Shakespearean line right there. <laughs> thou old wild. Who might thou be? <laughs> thou. Uh oh, he's gonna go crazy. <laughs> thou, thou. Thou, thou. This deserves another chug of beer. <laughs> thou, thou, thou. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, he hurt his feelings. Come on! <laughs> come on! <laughs> Is there a context where that never works? I don't think so. <laughs> That's a pro. <laughs> like, are you sure you're not mad at me, Mr. Khan? <laughs> oh. This yeah. man literally just murdered. He doesn't have a sense of humor. Yeah. Me sorry. <laughs> Me not mean person. 
<laughs> it can't have you two prancing around all day. And then we just go straight to Scott. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Okay, this is the weirdest proposition of having like. <laughs> this is like just finding a random person on the street and being like, hey, you want to join us on our wacky adventures? Nothing bad's going to happen whatsoever. <laughs> you are no liability at all. <laughs> a present? Oh, oh, God, no. <laughs> he better not throw feet. <laughs> nice gift and thanks for, sh thanks for food. He better not throw feet, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Men of rubbish. What? Is he going through all the manners of British or something? <laughs> He's just flipping the channel. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny. Shiny! Can anything be... I, I feel like that's a sex joke. We have a John Claude you know you're the shiny Does Mr. Thou... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thou's that one. <laughs> a sh I'm jealous Panky's going to be when he hears about the fact I still from a whole bone in the savannah. I still feel this is like a string of sex jokes. <laughs> Batman? Well, of course, he's a pikey. <laughs> he's pikey. Maybe he tries to steal our treasure. <laughs> Probably. Uh, that will one bit first. <laughs> what is that? That is he? Uh, okay, now that's just really turned yeah. into a weird porno. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe he's the type of. <laughs> he's the type of hobo you give him a dollar and he starts dancing around maniacally. <laughs> it's insane because I kept refusing to sign in, thinking that maybe. What is it, Timmy? <laughs> Moron stuck in a well? Yep. Is he wearing bright day glow tights like you are? That's what I should have gone with. Yep. He's spastic, he's unstable, wears dresses in nothing but loud detecting colors. <laughs> David Lee Roth, obviously. Yeah, of course. He's just, he's not riding a, he's not riding a unicorn though. <laughs> Let's go through. <laughs> right here? We, we, this happens to be the spot where it is. <laughs> oh well. Uh huh. Gone. <laughs> wow. Okay. Apparently, he works for the NSA. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Fascinating. <laughs> Let's just literally Let's just play along with the dream. Yeah, it, you're in the middle of nowhere. It's not like anybody else is going to help Which you really out. <laughs> What's your best choice? <laughs> yeah, I look at the camera like I was. <laughs> is he about to break the third? Is he about to break the fourth wall? Oh, he just did! Wow, that's dramatic irony. Now we get to see. Now we get to see him uh, moonwalk. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that he Can really. Kill you. That is a David Lee Roth thing. <laughs> to call someone Mr. Thou and Moonwalk. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Whoa! Oh, now we're gonna have a, a nice little uh, demonstration by Mr. Imp. That's a cap. Ah, that is true. Spaz skills, yes. Yes, you get to leap. And then, he disappears for a while. And then he comes back. Sometimes, not always. And then, he can imitate the monsters that, that were in that battle. And the, one, and the one that came back. So we'll show a demonstration of this in just a little bit. Unfortunately, he doesn't always make all those... We <laughs> Friggin' blue man. Yep. Continue your quest. The lad you following. The lad you suffer. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's let's do a small demonstration. 
you want to do is remember you can only do this when you're on the Videl. This doesn't work anywhere else. So if it's playing the, 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 the George of the Jungle music in the background, you're in the right place. So now these are abilities that we don't have. So we wait until we wait until with Spaz's turn. Oh, hit the hit the yeah, just do whatever. Okay, so now you go to leap. Le leaps on himself. Wee. Hit him in the face. I remember, I remember because when my life was in I was like, oh, Alright, so, yeah. Then he jumps in, and the battle automatically ends. So, we'll show you what happens when he comes back. Alright, now, Spazzy McGee's come back. Now, the key is to not hit him, because if you hit him, he runs away. But if you stand here, he says that he's Spaz, and that he loves you. <laughs> and he wants to travel together. So now we're just going to show you one more battle where you actually use his rage abilities. Because leap is how you attain them. But rage is how you actually use them. Now some people like to use... Some people like to use this particular character. Some people don't. I think he's fantastic. Wow. Of course. So, just to give an example. Um, you know... Uh, we, we use Rage and then we select a particular monster and for the rest of the battle they will be in uh, he will be in auto mode and he'll be using a series of abilities and as you can see we got the Trilobite so Rhinotar, yes that's one of the ones that you actually start out with but he gets to use stuff like Megavolt which is awesome and by the way, none of this actually costs any MP, or any kind of ability points, which is awesome. The only difference is that with Spaz, you cannot control him at all. He's pretty much in rage mode, but look at that. I mean, he uses Megabolt a bunch of times, which is fantastic. So, that is how you use Spaz, or Gao, depending on if you decide not to rename him. Yay, so we discovered that our friend knows where a secret treasure is. Where will this secret treasure be? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is the Benjinator. This was Mad Mike. And we'll see you next time after we get a few more rages and abilities.